Good morning. This is Rhonda. And today is the first day of May, which means that it's the first day of mania. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what all we can accomplish throughout the month. But this is going to be me vlogging through the entire month. I'm probably going to break it up and seeing what all we can get done and me sharing it with you. If you are returning, welcome back. So happy that you came back. If you're new, welcome. I hope you'll, you like what you see and you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so that you're notified every single time that I post a new video. First thing we're going to do is pick the first project that we're going to be working on today. Sorry, looking at my security camera, it let me know that there was some movement outside, but it's nothing. I think it's just the wind. Anyway, we're using the Tiny Decisions app, and I'll see if I can't get us both in here. So there it is. This is stitching. We're going to start with stitching. Oh, there it goes. Good job. So let's see. Uh -huh. Come on, focus. There we go. Christmas elves. Christmas elves. So that would be, let me dig through here. This one. Let's see if I can two handed this. Oh, I'm that's not attractive, is it? <laughs> okay. Yes. So if you see right I don't know if you can see that or not. Christmas elves. So that is going to be the first project. That will be what we're working on today. And I will check in with you all, back in with you all, in about mm, three hours or so. Let's see how much I can get done. Of course, I'm not going to sit there the entire three hours and stitch. I can't. You know, puppies won't let me because they have to go out. But uh, I'll check back in and we'll see how much I get done. And good luck today. Hope you have a great time creating whatever it is you're creating. And I can't wait to see what you all create. I hope, I'm sorry that my dogs are barking, but it is what it is. They are here. So, um, I hope that you are also on my Facebook page and in my group so that I can see what all you're creating too. I cannot wait to see it. We'll see you all soon. Okay, so, as life goes, there's been a slight change of plans. I am going to go see my grandbaby. But, when I get back, I'll continue stitching, and I'll check in, and let you know how it went. Alright, see you soon. Okay, so, <clears throat> I went to see my grandbaby. And then I come back and it was time to grab a bite to eat. So I got me some something to eat and now I'm going to sit back down and stitch. It is approximately 530. So we'll see how much I can get done between now and bedtime. All right. I'll check back in with you all again later. Okay, it is 11.36. Day one, I'm pretty sure we can say, is in the books. Um, I haven't counted my stitches yet. 
It didn't do great, but it didn't do too bad for me. I'm a slow stitcher. I don't know if it's my it's because I'm trying really hard to be good at it or I'm still not good at it. Don't get me wrong. Or if it's because I'm new. Anyway, I did get some stuff done. Um, I'm going to stitch a little bit longer because I have insomnia, which is normal for me. It comes along when, in the territory whenever you have anxiety, I think. My cheaters. So I'm going to show you what I have done so far. And I will be really glad when the bulk of what I have is counted because I think I'm going to end up enjoying that more. Um, I did a little bit of work on some, uh, it's not really plastic canvas, but it, it's still cross stitch, but it's the little dimensions ornaments. And I really, really liked that. And I almost think that that's easier, which is crazy because I was terrified to, um, uh, work on counted at first thought that, you know, I would completely and totally not be able to do it or whatever. But anyway, and anyway, we're going to get past the fear of that because I'm going to do an actual factual on Ada at some point during this month. Okay, so let me show you what I've got done so far today. Say so not bad progress. My stitching is horrible, but not bad progress. And of course, my needle minder is a cute little bobbin. Isn't it precious? And of course, it's sparkly. Because you know, I love sparkly things. But I still can't count today as um, a bad day of stitching because I got to see my grandbaby. And that is one of the best things in my life. I'm not even going to lie. It's one of the best things in my life. Um, but day one is down. We're off to a good start. Hope you're doing well too. And, um, I will see you all in the morning. I hope you rest well. Bye. Okay, here we are. Day two. Um, we're going to follow the same that we did yesterday. I'm going to let Tiny Decisions make my choice for me. But today is a diamond painting day. I know that uh, not everybody is wild about that, but it's my first love. I adore diamond painting, and I have to fit that in too. Uh, so, today is going to be a diamond painting day, for the most part. Um, I still have to get my stitches in for uh, School of Magical Stitches, so I'll probably pull out one of my prior whips and work on that for about a um, hundred stitches or so, uh, but mostly it's going to be diamond painting. So I'm going to grab my phone. Hide my face so it'll focus. There we go. So there's the stitching whip or uh, stitching new starts. So I don't drop it. And we're gonna. There we go. And. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna get that one set up. You saw what it chose. I'm going to get that one set up and uh, I'll be back to show you how I'm going to work on that today. All right. See you all in a little bit. Okay. So I've got everything set up. Got my cheaters on, so it's reflecting back. Let me put them on my head. Let's do that. Okay. So I've got everything set up. I'm going to flip it around and show you what I got. So, 
I've got a lap desk. I've got it clipped around me. Some duct tape down here. It's clipped onto the light board. And we're going to start. How's that go? Also, I went and got one of my Ipsy bags. Let's flip this back around. Okay. I got one of my Ipsy bags that I have. I don't do Ipsy anymore, but I still have lots of the bags. And I just put some washi tape in there so that I have that for the entire month. Mm. I'm going to take my wax that's in this little tool pack. I'm probably not going to use all of that, but I just thought grabbed one because it was easy. Got one of my little containers, so I'm going to prep my wax. I put uh, this diamond painting pen in there. We're, I'm going to try it out, see how I like it. Eh, it'll be all right. And um, I stuck a pair of my favorite tweezers in here. And I'm going to sit here and binge watch some YouTube or Netflix something. And diamond paint for a while. Okay. I will check back in with you all. At least before I have dinner tonight. We'll see how far I get. All right. See y'all in a bit. Bye. Okay. Mini check-in. I said I was going to do it for a few hours. I'm not making really good progress. I'm not a fan. It might be better to use this one with round. Um but for squares it's not good so I'm going to take a little break and I'm going to go through my excess storage and get a different diamond painting pen. I don't really want to use the one that I have on my um, drafting table or my large painting table in my studio because then I'll start searching for it and not be able to find it and I'll lose my mind because you know I'm as I said I'm not the most organized so I have one at each location so that I can use them whenever I get the urge to um, diamond paint at on that particular painting so I need one that I can use now I think I'm gonna look for one that has a grip on it for me sitting in my recliner and working on them this time around. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get a bite to eat because it's now about 2.30. And uh, I, have, uh, I haven't had breakfast. I, I usually don't eat breakfast. I usually have my um, coffee... And I put MCT oil in it because, you know, I am I am definitely keto. So I have done many, many, many hours of fasting. I haven't eaten anything since 7 last night. So I've done, I've done really well with my intermittent fasting. And uh, I will check back in with you all when I've got some decent progress on this okay all right see you in a few okay so day two we have brought to a close it is six minutes after 11 and today is another case of I thought I could get more done than I could actually do so I'm gonna show you all 
what I got done on the new start of the diamond painting today. I'm going to put it up and tomorrow we will draw, well, we will let the app pick our next project. Tomorrow is a stitching day. I should have stitched a little bit today. It didn't happen. Um, some things about this uh, painting. The drills were not the best I've ever had. The canvas is super clear, but some of the symbols I'm not real thrilled with because it's hard to distinguish um, which one was which on some of them. Just it's some funky looking um, symbols. So, as I said, I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you what I got done. I've already got the light pad off. Okay. I think that it looks pretty good for the 40 by 30 that it is. And of course, you're not supposed to be right up on them anyway. You're supposed to be, you know, a good three feet away so that you can look at it that way. And of course, you know, I think the person that I'm doing it for will like it. I have to have it done. Well, I'm hoping to have it done next month. So that I have time to get it uh, fully finished, get it in a frame. Um, I'm hoping that I can just go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and pick up a frame and frame it myself and not have to order a custom one. But we'll see how that goes. But insomnia is not plaguing me tonight. I'm actually a sleepy girl. So I am going to say goodnight and hope that you all had a very wonderful day and got a lot done and are still pumped up and motivated for the remainder of the month. Um, as I said, tomorrow is a stitchy day. Oh, I'm sorry. I have itches. And I know that I, I end up hugging myself and holding myself a lot. That's part of my anxiety and uh, fibromyalgia. It just happens. I apologize if it bugs anybody, but um, it's a comforting thing for me. Uh, and I don't have any intentions on uh, stopping. It's a, I know it's a learned behavior, but as I said, it's a comforting thing for me. Um, I would like to say that I'm going to get to stitch all day long, but nope, I've got to do some adulting tomorrow. My husband will come home tomorrow. So, there's a change there, but then there's some additional adulting things that I have to do. But I will do as much as I can, and I will take you all along with me while I get it done. Okay, so have a fabulous evening. Sleep well, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning. As I said yesterday, today is going to be a different kind of day. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my project, get it out, and then I'll check in as often as I can throughout the day. So let's have tiny decisions pick what I'm doing today. Elegant coffee cup. Okay, so let's go through here. There we are. 
So this is what I will work on today. Talk to you all in a bit. Good morning. Well, I didn't get a chance to get back with you yesterday. Boy, it was crazy. Today should be a little easier, so I will be able to check back in. Mr. Man has gone back on, on the road. Uh, the adulting that I had to do is done. And we are going to let Tiny Decisions pick my diamond painting for the day. Today is a diamond painting day. It's also Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And it's Derby Day. As a Kentucky girl, that is super important. So, I'm going to get this day going, let it pick, choose it up, and then I'm going to set it up the same way that I did the day before yesterday. And I will show you after I get that done and get it started. All right, so let's spin. Oh, rhinestone tree. Yay. Okay. I'll get that done. <clears throat> get it set up and be back with you. Okay. Here we are. It's on light pad. I apologize for the glare. I should be able to knock this one out in a very short amount of time. So I will probably have a finish today. I am so excited. Let's see if I can actually finish this one. And then I will work on one of my already started whips either diamond painting or stitching something okay here we go I'll talk to you all soon okay so this is a little check-in I have been working for approximately two hours just a little over and uh, this is what's gotten done let me remove some of the glare looking really good I'd say I'm at least well actually yeah I'm over halfway because I'm working on this color here and if you can see on the chart it's this one so that's number six So, yeah, we'll definitely have a finish today. And then, I don't know what I'm going to work on. I've got so many whips. Let's see, there you go. So, it's this symbol and it's this purple. Isn't it so pretty? Let's see if I can't. See him glisten? love this I don't know if I have a frame here that I can pop it in and then get this on the wall or if I'm just going to send it to somebody excuse me pardon me that was rude or what but oh my goodness y'all I just love these I just love these but I'm going to take a little break, put some food in my belly, because I have a tendency to just get into this and eat bad things for me. So I'm going to eat something that's not bad for me. And then I'm going to come back and I'll finish this up, but I will definitely check in with you all later. All right. Bye. All right. I'm back because 
we have a finish. I knew that would be a finish today because they go together so fast whenever you've got the, the special drills usually. This one took just under four hours to complete. And I think that it is just beautiful. Now these, let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Okay. These, this shape here, the ones that are light pink and then these were a pain. I mean, a royal pain to put on. But, that pen that I disliked earlier this week. Sorry for the rattle. This one. I started using this end. Come on, focus. It probably can't because everything behind it is so sparkly. Okay, so that one worked great picking those special gems up. So if you have one of these or can get your hands on one of these and you like doing the special drills, I highly recommend this because it made it go so much easier. Okay, so now I'm trying to decide where did that come from? Little random. Ah, okay, taken care of. So now I'm going to decide if I'm going to work on a whip or if I'm going to do a surprise new start. Not something that I had kitted up for Mania. So, I guess you'll find out in my wrap up. And I will be doing a wrap up. All right. I will talk to you all again probably tomorrow. Have a great night. Happy crafting. See you all. Good morning. Whew. It's been a morning already. I don't know why that it's been a morning, but it's been a morning. I would turn you around, but I'm fresh out of the shower. My hair's still wet, but I wanted to go ahead and get this started. So, today is a stitching day. All day, I think. We'll see. I don't think I'll finish a project today, so it'll probably be a stitching day all day. So, we're going to let Tiny Decisions pick the project. So, let's get it up here where we can see it. Come on. Okay, so it's the other Christmas. So, that would be this one. We're going to be working on the Christmas tree scarf today. All right. All right, I'll get started, and I will check back in with you all in a little while. Okay, just doing a little check back in. And this is what I have completed on today's project. So much backstitch. So, so much backstitch. But I think that it looks pretty good of course there's still a whole nother tree to go and all of the bulbs and the string and of course I've made a design des executive decision and I'm not going to do the little crosses that are in the bulbs I'm just going to outline those as well so that it will flow better since you know the ink washes out nobody will ever be able to tell that 
they were supposed to be there. Unless, you know, they're a stitch or two. But, yeah, I can make it my own. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me turn that around like this. Of course, I did a little flub up. If you'll see, it's supposed to be a blue one on that side and a gold one on the opposite side. I flopped them. And I'm like, oh, well, you can just stay. It'll be fine. Again, make it your own. But that's what I did today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep stitching or if I'm going to work on one of my whips of diamond painting or whips of cross stitch or what I'm going to do next. But, or if I'm just going to continue on with this one. I don't know. But, there you go. There's my progress for today on this one. At least to now. Um, I may not check back in with you until tomorrow. But I hope that you're getting lots and lots and lots done. And that you're happy with what you're creating. Alright, I'll talk to you all again soon. It is that time once again. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so we are on day six. And today is a diamond painting day. So, let's spin the wheel and see what we get. We are going to be working on the eagle. All right, okay. I'll get that set up and I'll bring you back and we'll show you the setup and I'll get started on this. Okay, we are set up and ready to go. I'm gonna work on my drafting table today. I think that one will make this one easier because it is a 50 by 70 with 34 colors. So I'm going to get working on this and I will check back in with you all later. Okay, you're going to hear the pitter patter of little puppy feet, but this is one hour in and what I have accomplished in that hour of course I probably could have got more done but I kept stopping and checking the book of faces and the school of magical stitches messages but it is what it is pretty good progress in an hour my goal is to finish at least this section today the colors are beautiful, and the color I'm working on is this pretty plum. Looks more black, but trust me, it's plum. It's 154. Oh, you can kind of see the plum there. Can I shut the... Yeah, now you can tell it's plum. There you go. Oh, we got some sparkle. Look at there. Alright. So that's my progress. Now I'm going to go do some adulting things. And then I'm going to come back in and hit it again. I'll check in with you all later. Alright. This is what I completed today on this one. Those colors are just stunning in this. And of course, the reason that I've come on tonight to go ahead and give you a final is tomorrow is going to be different. Um, tomorrow will be 
the last clip for this vlog, but I have to run errands tomorrow. So I'll probably draw and then run my errands and probably not get a whole lot done tomorrow. I'll be honest. But I knew that there were going to be days where things would pop up that I would have to go take care of. So, I have to decide, you know, how much I consider done, started, and then go with that. But, I'm also really, really looking forward to the entire wrap-up of the entire month which I'm already planning and I'm making notes and all of that so that I can give you all a full picture of how the mania has gone both with diamond painting and with stitching. But for tonight, this is it. I hope you all find this just as beautiful and sparkly as I do. Doesn't it look so good? Of course, this one is for my brother, and he loves eagles. I can't wait to complete it and give it to him. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm off on a tangent, but it's just normally me. My brain doesn't brain, and I can't stay focused on one thing. Hello, anxiety. It happens. All right. So I hope you all have had a wonderful day. And I hope you have been creative in whatever way you choose. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Good night. Okay. This is the final day for this vlog. And we are going to pick the stitching project for the day and then I'm gonna head out run errands and then come back and stitch and then I will check back in with you all once I get started so let's see what am I working on today love okay All right, it's those, so we'll be working on the Love Grows Here project. All right, so I'll start on that, and whenever I get it started, I will come back, check in, and let you all know how it's going. And I will talk to you all later after I run errands. Yuck. But adulting happens. We know this. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. Okay. So, yes, it was a late start to Mania Project because I had to run errands. There you go. You see, it is started. And of course, uh, as I said, I will do a wrap up at the beginning of next month to show all the things. All right, I'm going to pause and I'm going to turn you around. Okay, so that concludes the first week of mania I hope that you all have enjoyed everything um, I know that it was a mixture of stitching and diamond painting but that was my plan all along um, and I have found that I really really excuse me so sorry I really really enjoy stitching but I also really, really enjoy diamond painting. And I'm hoping to continue the rest of the month with pretty much the same pattern. Every other day, changing back and forth. Um, 
and hopefully by the end of the month there will be lots of things for me to show you I'm going to continue stitching on my project here see how much I can get done of it today I want to get at least a hundred stitches in and so far I have about about 45 ish so there will be more done on this whenever I do the wrap up and again thank you for watching love to talk to you in the comments um, if you are not already subscribed and you would like to be please hit that little button down below Ring the bell so you know every time I post a video. And come along with me on this journey of crafting, diamond painting, cross stitching, and who knows what else will end up showing up here. But I've had a great time in week one. And I will see you all in about a week for week two. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye.